naman po sa inyo. So ito naman po is another lecture ko, another lecture naman po hatid ng MC Squared Coaching Center. And this is again a uh, lecture namin about civil service exam na mathematics na lumalabas po, na commonly na lumalabas kaya ang title po natin is Frequently Asked Questions. And ito po yung mga set of questions or set of problems sa civil service exam Specifically, nung mathematics ng civil service exam, part 9 na po tayo. So again, magandang araw. Ako po si Engineer Melvin John Habla Bansuelo, CIS. Okay, so simulan na natin. Okay, this is problem number 1 of uh, mathematics ng sa civil service exam, frequently asked questions, part 9. So the question is find the LCM when we say LCM is the least common multiple of 18 and 24. Is it letter A 36, letter B 54, letter C 72, letter D 96. Kung napansin niyo sa part 8 ng ng video ko po ang sinol po natin is LCM ng fraction. Ngayon just a recap or review ang isusolve naman natin is LCM naman ng whole number. So, paano ba isolve ang LCM ng dalawang whole numbers? So, given itong number 18 and 24, kukunin natin yung factors ng 18 as well as factors ng 24. Yan yung kinatawag natin getting the, the, yung prime factorization. Now, ang 18, kung isipin natin, paano ba tayo makabuo ng 18? You have pwede kang 6 times 3 in which yung 6, 2 times 3, 10 times 3, makaborm ka ng 18, and then as well as yung 24, 24 pwedeng 6 times 4 which is 2 times 3 times 2 times 2. So, ayan, kukunin natin yung factors ng 18. Yung factors ng 18 is 2 times 3 times 3. To check natin, 2 times 3, 6 times 3, that is 18. And then yung factors naman ng 24, factors ng 24 is 2 times 3 times 2 times 2. I-check natin, 2 times 3, that is 6 times 2, that is 12 times 2, that is 24. So, para makuha natin yung LCM, ito, bring down natin itong 2, bring down natin yung 3, isang 2 lang, isang 3 kasi common naman sila. Ito, walang kapares, baba lang, that is 3 pa rin. Ito, walang kapares, baba din 2. Then, ito, ibaba din natin itong 2. And then, imamultiply natin silang lahat. So, ito na yung result. Baba yung 2, ito na yung 2, baba yung 3, baba itong 3 na to. Then, baba itong 2. Then, baba itong 2. After that, i-multiply natin ito lahat. So, pag ma-multiply natin, ano yung result? 2 times 3 times 3. So, ayan. 2 times 3, 6. Times 3, 18. Times 2, 36. Times 2. That is 72. Okay? So, the correct answer here is letter C. That is 72. So, ganun yung pagkuha ng LCM. Another way... Nang pagkuha ng LCM, mayroon akong previous videos ng how to solve LCM is to get the multiples of 18 and 24 or is to get the multiple of two whole numbers. Halimbawa, yung multiple of 18 is 18 times 2 that is 36 times 3 that is 54 times 4 that is 72. So 18, 36, 54, 72. Ito ha, then times Uh, i-times pa natin ito ng 5, so magiging 19 na ang kasunod. Okay? So parang 18 plus 18, 36 plus 18, 54 plus 18, that is 72. Sa kabila naman, yung multiples of 24, 24, 48, 72 plus 24 na naman. So since ito yung common sa mga multiples nila, pinakamababang common kasi as you goes on, ng pagkuha ng mga multiples nila, makakakuha naman tayo ng common numbers nila. And tinawag siyang least common multiple. Sa lahat ng common multiples niya, ito yung pinakamababa. That is si 72. So, ito yung method 1 on how to solve the LCM using prime factorization. Ito naman yung using the multiples of the numbers. So, the correct answer here, based sa ating dalawang solution, is letter, letter C. Okay? So, letter C yung, yung ano natin. Letter C yung... Uh, correct answer. Problem number 2. So, problem number 2 tayo. Find the GCF of 18 and 24. So, kanina, LCM yung kinuha. So, sa LCM, binaba natin yung lahat ng factors niya. 
Ngayon, ang all, ang ibababa lang natin is yung factors na common sa dalawa. Okay. So sa 18, yan po siya 2 times 3 times 3. Sa 24, 2 times 3 times 2 times 2. To, to check, that is 2 times 3, 6 times 3, that is 18. Ito sa 24, 2 times 3, that is 6 times 2, 12 times 2, that is 24. So in order for us to get the GCF, ito hindi na po sila kasali. Kasi wala naman silang kapares. Ito merong kapares, so ibaba natin ito sila sa baba. So mode dito. So only ibaba natin for GCF is yung may mga kapares lamang. Okay, so therefore, yan po yun siya 2, and then yan po yun siya 3. So therefore, the GCF of two numbers, 18 and 24, is letter, ayan, letter A, that is 6. Okay, problem number 3, what number will follow the given series of numbers, 3, 6, 11, and black? Kung pansinin niyo yung number class, the difference between the first term and the second term is 3. And the difference between the second term and the third term is 5. So therefore, kung pansin yung 3, 3, 5. So by add number, siguro huhulaan ko ang next, which is not necessarily huhulaan, pero nakita natin yung pattern, probably yung difference nila is 7. So therefore, if we add 11 plus 7, probably... That is, ano, 18, letter C. So, letter C yung correct answer. But, mathematically, kung napansin ninyo, ito yung uh, relationship nila. Ibig sabihin po niyan, class, sa first term, if n equals to 1, that is 1 squared, it, 1 squared plus 2, that is 3, which is nagmatch po doon. Sa so, second term, which is n equals 2, that is 2 squared 4 plus 2, that is 6, which is nagmatch din dito. Sa so, third term, that is itong 11, third term po yan, 3 squared, that is 9, plus 2, that is 11. So therefore, para makuha yung fourth term, that is 4 squared, plus 2, that is 16 plus 2, equals to 18. So therefore, the correct answer here is letter, letter C. So ayun lang, okay? So usually class, sa mga series or number analogy, hanapin nyo lang yung pattern. If ever, hindi nyo makita yung relationship or mathematical equation involving the series. So, usually class, nakikita naman natin kaagad yung, yung pattern naman sa problem. Okay? So, yun, <coughs> yun po yung uh, two ways on how to solve a given number series. Okay? So, yan po siya. So, yan. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching for our uh, civil service exam math frequently asked question uh, part 9 and our next topic is part 10 so before tayo mag end don't forget to click subscribe and bakit tayo mag subscribe para if ever mag upload ako ng new videos para ma update kayo sa ating mga new ng aking mga new videos okay so and then don't forget also to share to others okay so para naman makatulong naman tayo sa iba lalo na yung may mga nahihirapan sa mathematics sa exam okay so again have a nice day and enjoy studying